If you have not heard all the commotion about the latest technological advancement in the AI space, it's time to start paying very close attention. ChatGPT is here and it's an AI tool that I'm really excited about and it's disrupting the way that people are working and it's revolutionizing content creation as well as strategy planning for digital marketers. In this video, I'm going to talk about chat GPT, what it is and how I'm using it to save myself tons of time with my Google ads lead generation campaign and how I'm getting really great results by using it along with using it to help me with strategy planning. So if you want to learn some of my best use cases for it, I will go ahead and share those in this video and let's go ahead and dive in. Let me just start off by describing what chat GPT is. Essentially, it's a language chat bot developed by OpenAI and what it does is it generates human-like responses in real time for a given prompt. So it is really great when it comes to ad copywriting, content writing, and research. So this is really great for those beginning stages of your pay-per-click marketing campaign planning. OpenAI is the company that created ChatGPT and it used massive amounts of data in order to build ChatGPT in order to accurately predict what word comes next in the sentence. And I have been thoroughly impressed with using it. So I'm gonna go ahead and and share some of my best use cases. So the first uh, tip that I have is using it to help you with keyword research and just keyword planning. So here I have a prompt here, provide me some PPC keywords for an orthodontist. And I'm also going to say specifically in Seattle. And it pretty much gives us answers within a few seconds and also give us some great tips to go along with it. So this is a great way to get started with keyword research. Another way that I like to use it for keyword research search is finding synonyms to these keywords. Um, so can you also find me some synonyms? So basically some more ideas that you can use um, outside of what you may have found in the keyword planner or from the Google um, auto suggest on top of other different tools that you're using, you can combine the different tools together. The only downside with this is that you're not going to be able to see the search volumes by area because GPT doesn't have that quite yet. Um, and that's all really like Google's information. So it doesn't have access directly to the internet and pretty much all the data in ChatGPT is from, I believe it was uh, 2021 and um, before. So any current events will not be included if you were to ask it about uh, something that happened this past year um, or anything after 2021. Another great use case for ChatGPT is to use it to help you understand your customer persona. Now, when you're running any type of marketing campaign, in order to be successful, it's gonna be really important for you to understand who your customer persona is and what makes them want to purchase the service, what are their fears, what is their ultimate pain point, and why you are the solution to that pain point. So I went ahead and I asked ChatGPT from the perspective of an orthodontist, who would typically be a patient for an orthodontist? And it gave me this answer within seconds. Um, it shared what an orthodontist is, and then it went on to share that orthodontists tend to offer treatment to people of all ages, but it's most commonly for early teenagers and overall can, they can serve children, adolescents, and adults. So based off of this information, I can take this and target parents that have children or teens and also adults as well in order to really maximize the results that come from this campaign. On top of that, it helps me understand this type of specialty better. Um, and then another thing that I asked ChatGPT is to understand some of the pain points of an orthodontic patient is why would someone avoid a orthodontist or orthodontic treatment? And it gave me five reasons. One is cost, time commitment, appearance, comfort, health concerns. There's so many reasons that it was able to give me. And based off of this, I'm able to take this and 
use it in my ad copy and content. So that's another potential use case that I'll talk about in a bit, but this allows me to understand who this target persona is and why they're even seeking the treatment and why they maybe wouldn't want it. So this overall just helps me understand that the target persona just overall way better. Another great use case for ChatGPT is to use it for research and using it for research specifically to identify the cities that you want to target. So in this example, I prompted it by asking it to provide me a list of the most affluent cities in Los Angeles County with an average household income by city. So in this example, I'm just pretending that I'm doing research for an orthodontist that only takes private pay patients that doesn't accept insurance. And in that case, because you're only wanting to target more affluent cities because you wanna capture people that can pay out of pocket for a six to $7,000 treatment, you wanna make sure that you are targeting cities that have more wealth. And this is what it gave in terms of the answer back to me. And this is actually based off of 2019. So based off of the most recent data available in ChatGPT, I have a total of 10 cities with the medium household income listed. And this just gives me great data and information that I can leverage in order to target and organize my campaigns. Another great use case for ChatGPT is to have it identify competitors to a specific company. Now I've tried this with a couple different companies and it's a hit or miss, but I would go ahead and test it out and see if it works for you. Um, it's not going to be as robust as let's say a SpyFu or a SEMrush, but it's still a good potential starting point in order to figure out who the competitors are in that area and also allows you to then take that information and go do some more research on Google and see what these companies are doing for their online marketing. Have you ever had writer's block when it came to writing responsive search ads? Well, I have a solution for you you and it's the answer to a lot of our big pain points when it comes to writing uh, responsive search ads because when you're writing responsive search ads it's highly recommended to make use of all 15 headlines and all four descriptions and with open chat GPT you'll be able to come up with headlines faster because it's gonna give you some inspiration and it's going to allow you to just move quicker when it comes to campaign creation. So in this example, I was very hyper specific with what I wanted ChatGPT to do for me. And I told it to create ad copy headlines that target commercial roof customers and persuade them with emotional language to contact a roofing company. So as you can see, my prompt was very detailed, but the more specific that you are and detailed that you are, the more likely that OpenChatGPT is gonna give you what you're looking for. So some of the answers, some of the headlines that it came up with were, don't let a damaged roof bring your business to a halt, ensure the safety and security of your business with a strong, reliable roof, protect your investment with professional commercial roofing services, don't let a leaky roof cause costly damages to your business and maximize the lifespan of your roof and save money with regular maintenance and repairs. Now, this is really impressive because they were able to come up with this in literally seconds and it really allowed me to just be inspired with new ideas that I can take and apply to my campaigns. Now, when it comes to using this tool, I wouldn't copy and paste it because the problem with that is then there's duplicate content, you could potentially be getting flagged for that. So I just use it for inspiration and I take it and I use it to my advantage in order to develop better headlines. Another thing to note too is ChatGPT is not quite there yet when it comes to character count. So you can't tell it to you write you a headline that's within 30 characters and a description within 90 characters. Cause if that were the case, we'd have a lot of ads that are looking probably the same or similar <laughs> out in the universe. Essentially it's to give you the idea and then you can take it and, and craft it in your own way, in your own tone and align it with your brand. And the final use case that I have for you is to use OpenChat GPT 
to help you write your landing page copy. Now, you already know the importance of having compelling responsive search ad copy because that's what's gonna have the user click on your ads. But the next step beyond that is to have a compelling landing page with persuasive ad copy that's gonna get that traffic to then take that action and become a lead for your business. So in this case, uh, for example, I typed and prompted ChatGPT to write me some compelling and emotional ad copy for a landing page about why someone should seek orthodontic treatment for an orthodontist in Seattle. And here is what it gave to me. It gave me some really emotional ad copy that's agitating my pain points. Are you tired of feeling self-conscious about your smile? Do you struggle with biting or chewing due to misaligned teeth? And it has a really strong call to action. So I'm really thoroughly impressed with the results that I'm getting from ChatGPT. And of course, I'm using this as inspiration to help me write ad copy for my landing page and not just copying it, but it's just a really great way to cure the writer's block especially when it comes to, you know, building out campaigns and writing ad copy and so forth. It's just helping to speed up that time and be more efficient with that time. So if you found this video helpful, I would love if you can give me a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. I post videos here every week and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Thank you very much.